everyone, I'm Tracy, your host for this week's intuitive weekly reading for December 2nd to December 8th. So if that's what you're here for, welcome, welcome, welcome for the first week of December. And I have nothing to touch back on for last week because I was the first reading I missed <laughs> since I started. Wow, unbelievable. But I was taking care of myself, recharging myself. Um, you know, we talk about self-care. Sometimes there's places where you have to cut back. And uh, it was just one place I needed to cut back because I was dealing with a lot of concussion symptoms because I was um, getting cranial sacral therapy and Nuka chiropractic. And as my chiropractor calls it, uh, retracing occurred where the symptoms actually come back up uh, when you're healing from them. So I was dealing with major, major concussion symptoms. And so if there's something you can do for me, you can put a prayer out there for me to heal completely from post-concussion syndrome and, um, and concussions, because it just takes a little, little, uh, tap to the head and I'm right back into it. So that's perhaps a gift you can give me for Christmas and I'd be ever so grateful been almost it's been over two and a half years so but that's okay because it brought me to you guys it's just now I'd like to heal it completely <laughs> okay okay so enough about that and uh, let's move forward and let's see what White Hawk my spirit guide has to say as I channel him consciously for the week ahead for us for the first week of December Indeed, the first week of December. Let's see. What can I say to you that first off you will take time to hear? And so we have come and, and White Hawk is on his white horse as he's talking to us and there's this ever so lovely girl that always comes and sits and listens and she's sitting listening and White Hawk dismounts his horse and he goes down to this little girl and she's a little brown haired girl and she has her hair like all in little uh, top knots today and a beautiful little cotton dress kind of like uh, with like an apron front and he holds her hand and he starts walking with her. And he says, my child, can you help me give this week's reading? And she says, oh yes, Papa, ever so much. I would love to give you this week's reading. So he picks her up into his arms. And he says, what would you like to say to these people here? So you imagine he's holding her and he points to us. Well, she kind of gets a little shy and kind of goes into his chest. Well, I guess I just want... I just want my mommy and daddy to not fight, she says. I don't want them to get angry and fight with each other because of Christmas. I don't want them to be mad at each other. I want them to hug each other and love each other and oh, of course, take me to see Santa and and I'd like I'd like to buy some gifts for people and if they could help me color a page to give to Santa, that would be great. I really would love to give a coloring page to Santa. And the coloring page I'm seeing of hers that she's speaking of is this uh, page of, shows a fireplace with a mantle and the stockings on it and the fire's going in the fireplace and there's a, um, a chair in front of the fireplace. And uh, yeah, it's just the image she gives. Oh yes, please, could you ever so much, she says help me color that and get it ready to give to Santa. 
because I know, I know, I just know he would love it. He would love it. And White Hawk is intently listening to her. And he goes, is there, is there anything else he says you'd like to say to them? Well, I guess I just don't want you to fight, Mommy and Daddy. I just don't want you to fight. That's all. So then she's kind of sad and then he puts her down and she kind of goes off and she goes off and plays with herself. Um, and uh, White Hawk says, and he looks right up at us into the camera and he says, do you see children? Meaning less adult children. Do you see the harm you cause to your little children when you fight over the holidays? Do you see? He says, do you see? Do you see what they see, what they hear, what they feel? They may be small, but they are wise. And he says, and so, my children, take heed of the words of this very small wise one who just spoke. In a very childlike voice, he says. But her words could not be more powerful today and for throughout the month of December. Take heed, my children. The children just want you to love, to be happy, to be at peace. And so... If you can give them one thing, then give them this. Give them the gift of peace and quiet and love. God bless children, he says, as you go off into the weeks of busyness. But come back to this reading and listen to it as many times as you need to get it. God bless children. God bless. Go silently into the night. Hmm. Oh, there you go. There's a surprising reading. I never know <laughs> who I'll be channeling. <laughs> um, so that is the reading for the first week of December. So hopefully we all go uh, find some peace. And for the next upcoming uh, intuitive logs throughout December, it will all be about Christmas, whether, um, you know, there will, there will be an intuitive log specifically on Christmas. There will be um, intuitive logs uh, about New Year's in this, in this month. So. So stay tuned, subscribe so you know when they arrive, and uh, join us on Thursday for our next intuitive vlog, which uh, might be the Christmas one. But whatever it is you do during this Christmas season, take care of yourself, give yourself that gift, give your children that gift, whether they're small or big, give them the gift of, uh, of peace by taking care of yourself, slowing down, and uh, remember, the reason for this season. God bless. I'm Tracy from Channel Channel.